My name is Kevin Green. I am the director of photography with Alpha Shots Photography. Um, I am the uh, <laughs> director of bands at Northwest Guilford Middle School, the assistant director of bands at uh, Northwest Guilford High School. Um, I'm a photographer, a musician, a teacher, and I hope to inspire people. That was great. Um, I am actually a, uh, I graduated from North Carolina A&T back in 2010. Um, I was a music education major and while I was there, um, I, I marched in the band for three years and then my senior year, um, I was put on staff as a, a staff photographer for the band. Um, so that was really how I got my, got my start, um, taking pictures. And it just kind of stuck from there, fell in love with it, um, and then just kind of kept it, kept it up as a, as a side hobby um, up until now. And then I, after I graduated, I taught uh, elementary school for a year after that and <laughs> found out very quick that I did not have the personality to teach elementary school. Um, so I actually ended up getting uh, recruited to go play drums for the, uh, for the Marine Corps. Uh, so I did that for four years. I was stationed out in uh, San Diego, and then I moved back to Greensboro in 2015, yeah, 2015. Um, and then I actually came back to pursue to pursue my photography passion. Um, but at that time, you know, I was <laughs> I was low on cash, still kind of needed a job. Um, one of my professors at at a and messaged me on Facebook and said that there was a there was an opening um, at a school uh, at Northwest Guilford over here in, uh, in Greensboro. So I decided, hey, I might as well go ahead and go ahead and apply. Um, so I did. Uh, they offered me the job, fell in love with that too. <laughs> so I've been teaching there ever since and still doing still doing photography on the side. Uh, Greensboro, I mean, honestly, like, I'm, I'm originally from Fayetteville, North Carolina, and my dad was, dad was a retired Air Force, uh, so I grew up a military brat, um, and then when I went to college, um, I was always fascinated with, with A&T, um, didn't really know a whole lot about Greensboro, um, but I definitely uh, moved up here, and I loved every minute that I spent here, um, uh, when I first got here and then when I moved back, you know, it was just, and then, and then when the protest started, it was just kind of really learning about all the, the history that, that Greensboro has has really, really been a positive influence on, on me. Um, and it's definitely inspired me to, to pursue my photography more. So when I, when I first got into photography, um, I didn't really know uh, what what specifically I, I wanted to shoot? Um, I, like I said, I was just I was shooting pictures for the for the band, so it was kind of kind of a lot of photojournalistic work, like street photography, that kind of thing. Um, but then as I as as I started to learn more about photography, um, I wanted to I found out that that I really enjoyed taking taking portraits, um, whether that you know whether that be like senior photos or weddings or whatever. I got into weddings, um, and you know I looked up looked up photographers online. Uh, like I know one of my favorite favorite wedding photographers is uh, Pai Jirsa um, out in California, and I've kind of followed his work along a lot of the way. Uh, and then you know I'm always always on YouTube, just trying to find find different different people to to grab inspiration from, and and you know how just find ways to to better my own work. Um, so yeah, it's 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 not really like one one specific person, uh, but just any anybody that I see that's really you know, really making a difference and, and really putting out some, some awesome work. You know, I try to pull, pull bits and pieces from, from everybody um, just to kind of make my, my overall artistic ability greater. So right now um, it's, it's been, it's been kind of whatever whatever pops up you know i've had some people um contact me about working on different projects like i i got contacted by the united way um they were trying to use, just use some of the protest photos to kind of put together this this campaign to promote um to promote some promote awareness you know in the community they're doing a project to to try and end poverty in greensboro um 
working on that and I was been also been working with the Greensboro History Museum they've put together an exhibit down there um, that's going to be opening this fall with with all of the protest photos from you know from the past couple months in in Greensboro it's just just kind of highlight that and the people people that were involved just trying to spread that positive message and and keep people aware of of what's going on now um but outside of that um outside of the protest world <laughs> and we're actually back, back working with uh with a and now um and taking pictures with the band as, as long as they're still in school anyway <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts <laughs> but it, it's been it's been a pleasure being being able to be back back where it all started It's a it's a daily struggle for for me and for everybody, um, especially my coworkers, students, um, and it's uh, not something that I want to be in right now. Um, but at the same time, you know, with with every negative thing that happens, you know, there, there's always some some little glimmer of of silver lining that that you can take out of any any bad situation and just just kind of try to make the best of it. Um, so with that, you know, I obviously I I wasn't having to spend so much time at school. Um, and that really gave me the time to to be able to pick my camera back up and actually, you know, start going out to places and, and actually taking pictures. So um, that first protest that I went to, I think it was at the it was actually at end of it was at the end of May. That's when that's when it was. Um, I want definitely my fiance and I wanted to go out there and just kind of show our support. Like it wasn't it wasn't anything that was like pre planned or anything. Like we we heard that it was going down, and with everything that's going on in the country right now is just we didn't we couldn't sit at home and just not not do anything you know and we wanted to make sure that that we got out and, and did what little we could um and me being a photographer i felt like it was it was important for me to be able to get out there and just document document this for for history you know and and i did i got out there just took some pictures and, <laughs> and the rest was kind of history after that um, and stuff started blowing up, and then and then the photography business on, uh, started to to pick pick up after that. So, it's it's been a blessing, and I, I'm just trying to trying to make the best of a bad situation, I guess. Um, so I'm just working every day, just kind of do do the best I can with what I got. Well, <laughs> the average day right now is very very different. <laughs> um for what it normally would be during during this time so right uh before before the pandemic hit um my time i probably wouldn't be on this call right now i would be at school um because i i do i do marching band uh for high school and i i put in 16 hour days on a regular at the school but you know now now that COVID is here. Um, I've got a lot more time on my hands. Um, I'm still I'm obviously still teaching. Um, so right now we're, we're actually not having um, virtual classes yet. Uh, we get started, uh, started back up here in about a week, I believe. Um, but I am, you know, at school, getting prepared for that, just getting um, all the online classes uh, set up and getting ready for students to, to start taking those here in a couple weeks. Um, and then when I leave school, I come home and <laughs> I'm either watching YouTube, trying to learn something new uh, photography wise, or, or I'm out shooting somewhere. Um, I think I actually, tomorrow, uh, I heard about a protest up in, up in Winston. Um, so I'm gonna try and try and make it up to that, that tomorrow. So just, yeah, whatever, whatever gigs pop up. Um, if I'm not in school, I'm either learning or shooting, <laughs> one of the two. For me, um, as a photographer, it's, it's kind of been my my biggest struggle of like my entire life is the fact that I'm I'm really really introverted, and I normally don't do do well like talking with people. Um, and I guess I guess honestly, being being a teacher, it it helps me to kind of get get out of my bubble and get used to talking to people that I normally wouldn't be around. Um, and then now that that all of the the protest photos has, have kind of blown up, it's it's kind of put me in more of a spotlight that I don't necessarily like. I appreciate, um, but it I definitely have more opportunities now to kind of to push myself to to try and overcome those 
those difficulties with um, just anxiety in general. Um, I get anxiety like around people, so it makes it tough uh, sometimes to be that photographer, especially like if I'm like on on a shoot. Um, but it's something that I'm working on, <laughs> and it's getting better on a daily basis. But nothing that's gonna hold me down for too long. A lot of times it's really just about about putting the blinders on and, and really focusing on on the task at hand. I mean, the, the biggest, I think the biggest um, issue for me with like the whole anxiety part, it's it's not so much like in, in the moment that like if I'm on the shoot, um, it's the two to three hours before <laughs> the gig is where it's always the worst. So, cause I, it's always that downtime, that waiting, that anticipation for what's about to happen. But then once, like once I'm actually there at the shoot um, and then I start, start taking pictures, then I kind of, I'm in the zone and then nothing, nothing else really matters at that point. For me, I mean, really when it just boils down to being able to inspire people, you know? And like, like when I, like I said, I didn't plan for any of this to happen, but I definitely wanted to to be able to document this this moment for for people in the future. And then, you know, the fact that that my work has had such a positive impact on people and and it's been able to inspire other people to get out, you know, go take pictures and document. Um, and that that's really what it boils down for artists. Like we we want to be a positive influence in people's lives. Um, so whatever, whatever way I'm able to do that, you know, that that's what I'm always striving to do. Just get out there and, and do it. Because at, at some point, you know, you're gonna you're gonna hit that hit that point where you're like, oh, okay, I, I'm starting to get this. I'm, I'm good now. And then, you know, you just again, like you're always, always striving to learn and be better. Um, and whether you're taking, you know, take, taking tips from other photographers or other artists, um, it's just all about trying to, to be better today than you were yesterday. You know, each day you just do learn something a little bit more and the next day you learn a little bit more and you just get, just keep getting better. Um, and then at some point you're, you're going to make it. Like, it, I think too many times people get caught up in, in worrying about, you know, hey, such and such, so-and-so said this about me, or they think this about me. And it's just a lot of times we're just kind of making this stuff up in our head. Um, and at the end of the day, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Like we as artists, that's what we do. We make art and, and we strive to, like I said, we strive to inspire people. And if that's, if that's the intent, then it doesn't matter what other people think. You can't be afraid of, of the judgment because it doesn't really matter what you do. People are always going to find something something to hate on. <laughs> uh, so you really just kind of have to focus on the positive and just, just strive to be better each and every day. Um, uh, any opportunity that, that I can have or, or that you can have to, to uplift somebody, you know, because you never, you just never know. Um, they might, you might have that one little message that they needed to, you know, kickstart whatever project they're working on. Um, but yeah, that's, that's always an important question for me.